Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, this morning news is broken that Senate candidate in California, he's one of the front runners, Adam Schiff is now calling for Joe Biden to step aside. Right? Understand, in my opinion, there's simply no way that Joe Biden can be the Democratic nominee and have a chance to win the presidency. Understand, a political party is really the sum of, you know, the voters, the donors, as well as party insiders. Now you have some very well-placed people, very prominent Democrats. Uh, James Carville, for example, uh, Bill Clinton's uh, political strategist. David Axelrod, for example, Barack Obama's political strategist. Um, Adam Schiff, for example. Uh, you have well-placed Democratic Party insiders who want Joe Biden to step aside. This news is public. You also have donor bases that are saying we will not give money to the Democratic nominee if it's Joe Biden. Also, you have extremely high profile, very successful, very popular Democratic supporters, George Clooney, who are on record as saying Joe Biden needs to step aside. Now, Biden's problem is that there is a sizable block within the Democratic Party that believes that age has caught up with him, that mentally he's just not up to the job at this stage of his life. Understand that's not a problem that can be easily solved, right? Once people start to think that you're forgetting names, that, as Vivek puts it, somebody else is running the country. Once that sentiment becomes widespread, your candidacy is done. Right now on poly market, that's a very important market. Believe it or not, you're getting better than even money odds on whether Joe Biden steps out of the presidential race, right? Your return right now is something like a plus 111 with a plus 100 being, according to American odds, an even money rate of return. In other words, if I bet $100 right now, I would get back $111. Now the line is volatile. It's going up and down. But my point to you is, from this seat, it is a near certainty that Joe Biden withdraws his name from the presidential race for 2024. I believe the big reveal with the Democrats is going to be that they're going to have an open convention. That some people who, depending on your point of view, either by chance or by design, have recently released books like Hillary Clinton, might throw their names in the hat, or better yet, this is the world of politics, <clears throat> some well-placed ally might suggest Hillary Clinton or someone else to be the Democratic nominee, and of course, the person whose name is suggested will say, look, you know, I wasn't planning on running for President of the United States, but... If my name has been placed into consideration, then I will consider it. Right? So you have to ask yourself, and I believe this is a distinct possibility. You have the GOP convention going off right now. If the Democratic Party wants to distract viewers away from the GOP convention, if they want to put their name, put the party on the front page of the paper 
Wouldn't a great way to do so be by raising the question of whether the presumptive nominee is actually going to accept the nomination? Wouldn't a great way to put the party brand on the front page of the paper to be to have a slow leak of people with prominence, George Clooney, for example, Adam Schiff, for example, over time, not all in one day, slowly announced that they think somebody else other than Joe Biden should be the Democratic nominee. Right? So I'm someone who believes that things are more coordinated, that team efforts can be done without a written memo, that people get the message, they understand the temperature of the room. I believe Joe Biden himself knows that he's lost a lot of the force that consensus party backing would give him and that there are people in the party who are committed to having a Democrat as President of the United States who will not vote for Joe Biden, right? Biden's been in the game a long time. He understands that he's lost enough support among Democrat, uh, Democratic insiders uh, in a race where uh, people have to understand the Electoral College determines who is the President of the United States Understand, even if Joe Biden were a point or two ahead in the popular vote, and he's not, but even if he were a point or two ahead in the popular vote, since a lot of Democrats are residents of New York, Illinois, California, in other words, since Democrats are going to win some states by high six figures, perhaps in the millions, in the case of California, because the popular vote might skew toward individual states, realistically, for Joe Biden to be the next president of the United States, he would need to be, in my opinion, at least four or five percent ahead right now in the popular vote. And folks, he's losing. Let's be clear, too, on the next scheduled debate with Donald Trump. Biden really can't win no matter what he does. If Joe Biden shows up and suddenly he looks alert, there are going to be a lot of people, let me raise my hand, who are going to ask the question, what is he on tonight? Right? If he shows up too and he looks too alert, there's going to be another group that's going to ask the question, wow, is his performance this uneven? How many days a week does the guy wake up as he was in the first debate versus how he looks tonight? Can I handle the volatility? Do I want a president of the United States who has bad days like the first debate and then good days like the second debate? Let's face it too. If Joe Biden shows up for the second debate, and looks as bad as he did the first go around, then there's no chance of him being president of the United States. This is an interesting election cycle where you have people like Bobby Kennedy Jr. in the race. You could easily see a situation where there is a let's switch to Bobby movement if Joe Biden is still occupying the nominee position for the Democratic Party. So I believe, given that it is July the 17th, and given that the general election here is less than four months away, I believe Joe Biden is going to step aside. I privately believe that decision has already been made. I believe Joe Biden, being a longtime Democrat, uh, understands that he's helping the party, in a sense, by drawing eyeballs away from the GOP convention toward the Democrats, by leaving us guessing on whether he's actually going to go forward as the Democratic nominee.
whether he's actually going to keep his name in the hat. Let me just say, too, that potential challengers like Hillary Clinton, for example, have a lot of options, right? I find it fascinating that one of the options she would choose would be to have a book released right around now, right around the Democratic Convention that's coming up in Chicago. Also understand, I'm in California. We have a governor here, Gavin Newsom. Aren't you yourself wondering why Gavin Newsom is traveling all over the country? At a time when he claims to be 100% behind Joe Biden, right? At a time when he claims that he's not running for president of the United States. You know, just understand, Democratic insiders recognize that there is a risk, I would call it a likelihood, that Joe Biden withdraws his name from consideration. That likelihood is not reflected right now in the line that's on polymarket.com. Now, of course, Americans are restricted from depositing money into that betting service, right? Such is the overregulation in my country, one man's opinion, right? But if you're Canadian, for example, you can deposit money into polymarket and you can make a bounty. Let me just point out too that Signing up, and I'm not receiving money from Poly Market. It is a fascinating site. This morning, they give Donald Trump a 69% chance of being the next president of the United States. It's a great site to get public sentiment to figure out the odds of certain things happening. But understand, signing up is as easy as using your Google ID. So give it a look. Look at the various odds that they're giving different people to be the Democratic nominee, or the next president of the United States, and just ponder the thought that Joe Biden staying in the race at this point is really a dog and pony show designed to pull eyeballs away from the GOP convention, designed to remind people of the Democratic brand during the GOP convention, and that Biden himself knows he's not going to be the next president of the United States. Biden himself understands that there's going to be an open convention, that it's going to be designed to shine a light on people who might be the Democratic nominee in 2028, that some promising Democrats are going to use that open convention to introduce themselves to the American public, and that someone other than Joe Biden is going to be the Democratic nominee. Understand the beauty of the bet. That eventual Democratic nominee doesn't have to win the presidency. The minute Joe Biden announces that he's withdrawing his name from the race, the minute someone else is simply selected as a Democratic nominee, your ticket cashes. You can then relax knowing you have money in the bank in advance of the actual general election. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. The bet I like here is that Joe Biden is, going, is not going to be the Democratic nominee. He's going to withdraw from the race. Let me point out, too, the wording is critical here. Right? He can get by the convention, which I don't believe he will. But if he gets by the convention, you still can win this bet. Because if Joe Biden, for whatever reason, withdraws at any time from the presidential race, your ticket cashes. So be careful with the wording that you choose on the bet that you take. If it's that Joe Biden withdraws from the presidential race, your ticket cashes. Right? Don't limit yourself to a time period. You know, Joe Biden withdraws at the Democratic convention. Why put the time restriction on it? 
You want the open-ended bet. So if Joe makes it past the convention and later withdraws, your ticket still cashes. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.